Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Um, thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in on this video. Actually, you haven't seen my Cherry Pie, my 1981 Mercedes W123 240D. Everything manual on this car. This is the simplest car in the world. So, um, uh, my buddy has been driving this car for a while right now and I haven't had time to do anything on this car. Um, but, you know, I'm gonna run you through all the stuff that I've done to it. But long story short, today is a really amazing day because we're gonna actually go and meet with Boko's Diesel Garage. Make sure you check out his channel in the description. I mean, he's a really cool guy. Uh, he's awesome. Uh, and he, um, you know, he actually buys these classic Mercedes and he saves them. But today, oh, what I decided to do is because, uh, you know, for an appreciation, I just uh, decided to actually give this thing away for free to him so he can have it because he also wanted a uh, simple 240D with a manual transmission so he's gonna have that and I'm gonna include a lot of extra parts with this car as well um, so he's gonna actually work on that and plus he has a you know a big lot he has a workshop as well so make sure you check out his channel he actually he's really awesome he's a great uh, you know mechanic as well and stuff like that and he loves working on these cars so make sure to check it out and uh, yeah I can't wait to actually take this car uh, to him, he's actually about to come here and pick it up with his, uh, you know, uh, car hauler, so that's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna take this car to him, we're gonna meet in the big parking lot, and yeah, we're just gonna talk, we're just gonna, it's gonna be uh, my first time seeing him, so I'm pretty excited as well. So, anyways, guys, stay tuned, I'm about to walk you through this car, and a couple of details about this car, but, uh, yeah, stay tuned, and thank you again for watching. All right, so here's the legend, guys, um, and uh, you know, uh, basically, I'm gonna go over right now, really quick, uh, with uh, what was done to this car. Uh, you guys remember this car perfectly. I actually, saved this car up for, like maybe a little longer than a year ago from a scrapyard. Uh, the guy just wanted to scrap it. Uh, this amazing cherry pie, this amazing machine, 240D with a manual trans. So. Um, Anyways, I haven't been able to work on this car lately, uh, and my tra uh, my other buddy uh, has been driving this car for a while, and uh, you know it's an amazing machine. Um, I'll, I'm gonna run you through a couple things that I've done to this car while I had it, um, and uh, this car, as you can see, the engine bay is actually a little wet because I power washed it. There was like some sand over here, you know. It's kind of uh, it's kind of upsetting, you know. I gave this car to my friend and he just drove it, he, he couldn't even like wash uh, the car or like the engine bay or anything, you know, the interior was dirty as well, I mean, it's kind of upsetting, you know, so I'm just kind of losing faith in people, you know, I'm probably not gonna, you know, let anybody drive my cars anymore, so, anyways, long story short, oh, he also broke the uh, grill hood start right there, so the <laughs> hood start is missing right now, uh, which sucks, but anyways, as you can see, you know, I put these, uh, uh, wheels on it. I uh, used to have uh, uh, you know steel wheels with hubcaps and those are actually gonna go on my dad's car right now uh, and because I'm planning to actually uh, give my dad uh, those wheels uh, and actually I'll have to re repaint the hubcaps and stuff but it's not a big deal but I'll have those wheels on and I'll also have um, the uh, I'll ship the bunt wheels with the car as well so Anyways, so this car has these wheels uh, for right now and the tires are actually uh, still in good condition. Uh, plenty of tread left on those tires. So, anyways, what I was going to say is I cleaned up the car a little bit, didn't have too much time, but, uh, you know, I have um, a sheet right here with, I think, most of the work that I've done to this car. I know I'm missing a couple of things here and there, but, uh, you know, we can over a couple of things what was done only if I can focus this camera on this okay so um, engine oil and filter change valve stem seals uh, replacement valve adjustment performed new front crankshaft seal uh, then I also did uh, I installed a couple of new belts the C belt was not installed I has got new water pump fresh glow plugs four new door seals uh, it's pretty amazing uh, and then new filler neck seal I uh, also removed all the door panels and cleaned them lubed everything from the inside preserved everything the window regulators um, 
add a trunk liners because they were missing, uh, removed, cleaned, then refurbished the cluster. Uh, then we installed new Phoebe drive shaft flex discs and center support and we actually forgot to buy the trans mount at that time so the trans mount is still bad uh, so it will need to be replaced and then the, the manual trans fluid change trans shifter linkage bushing so those are all good fix the oil cooler hoses because they were rubbing against each other which is a really big deal I also installed a new timing chain tensioner um, because the chain was loose so a new timing chain tensioner did the job and the chain is nice and tight now uh, then i also installed a couple of door stops a left front door stop and i believe the right rear door stop i gotta double check that and i also put the silicone grease on all the new door seals that i installed and i installed uh, also a new ignition cylinder with two new keys and then i also started started working on the floor rust so that's why you will see the interior is a little um, you know out of uh, shape or uh, just removed basically and I just did basic maintenance you know uh, used the ATF to lubricate a lot of you know uh, moving mechanisms and stuff like that so you know this car has received a lot of love uh, you know so uh, anyways so that's the uh, engine right there legendary OM616 uh, four cylinder I'll show you how it starts up but I just really love the simplicity of this car no sunroof everything is manual manual clamp control uh, manual transmission and all that stuff it's pretty amazing I'm also shipping I'm also you know gonna include a couple of things uh, with this car um, so some of the stuff is mine which my friend will actually put some of the stuff that's mine into the C126 because as you guys probably don't know but I, I do have a 560 SEC as well at his place so uh, but a couple of those like the mufflers and some grills and some other parts uh, he will have that um, so yeah anyways uh, let's go inside really quick I'll show you I cleaned up the inside a little bit okay but as you can see the door panels are really nice and beautiful because so I was working on all this stuff. Oh, I actually forgot to mention that the mirrors were also lubricated and they move nice and good and everything. Nothing is stuck. Uh, yeah, so this the only thing is the seat will need to be replaced. But everything else, as you can see, that seat is all torn apart. There's some parts right there that he'll be getting to. and. You know, this steering wheel is not original, it's off of the other bends, but it, that's how I got this car and it looks nice. All the wood trim pieces are really nice and everything. Oh, I also replaced the uh, clutch pedal and brake pedal pads, so those are brand new. And then cluster, things like that basically, okay. The dashboard is actually really nice, basically there's no cracks on the dashboard pretty much. Maybe like a small one and that's it. And the glove box also is nice and everything is beautiful here. And uh, make that's what I used to I, when I had the when I got this car I always put the sunshade on. So yeah. So that's how she is. I'm about to start it up guys. Okay, I'm about to do the cold start on this car. Okay, I'm should put neutral parking brake is still on. And this is an old school car, so it doesn't have a clutch pedal sensor, so there's no need to press the clutch in. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start this baby up. It's a little rough at first, and then there's also another issue. Uh, that's gonna need to be addressed uh, is a a clutch there's basically a throttle bearing is bad on this thing so as soon as I release the clutch pedal it's making a lot of noise I don't know if you can tell the difference so I'm about to press the clutch pedal in release I don't know if you can tell the difference but You know, this engine will still need some work, okay? So, I also feel like the injection pump timing it might be slightly off, so it might need to be checked. But uh, other than that, 
she's amazing amazing machine and then it's a little bit of smoke there because uh, like I said I, I steamed washed this thing a little bit okay I power washed this because there was a lot of sand here my buddy didn't take care of this thing whatsoever it's crazy I'm gonna miss you baby but I know you will be in good hands you'll be around so you'll be fine okay you're alive and you're not thrown away Oh, we're driving amazing Cherry Pie 240D. By the way, I really want to keep that name for this car. Cherry Pie. Okay. I'm not going to film too much while I'm driving because it's really difficult, you know, holding this camera and shifting at the same time. So, you know what I mean? But yeah, she's doing amazing, you know. I'm loving the cluster as well. Really happy that I took it out or restored it. I'm gonna tell you right away, I'm gonna miss this car. By the way, my friend in W210 is following me. So, it's amazing. I'm really gonna miss this car, but I'm happy it's still gonna be part of the family and everything. So, woohoo! Fourth gear, she's amazing. So smooth as well. Wow. Okay, I just came here, uh, and let's see how this engine shuts off. There's a delay in shut off, but let's hear it. Woo Always remember, put it in gear as well, and set the parking brake. Anyways, but I'm gonna be night check coming here soon. Yeah, why that thing One hour later. Well guys, so here I am and I'm about to show you a really, a really awesome person who is actually next to me right now or in front of me. But long story short, he came here from Eastern Washington and I'm gonna give him this amazing 240D right there, okay? And uh, he's been always looking for that manual 240D uh, like that one. It's actually, I'm really happy because it's a really beautiful weather today. But uh, you know, as an appreciation gift, uh, I'm just gonna give it to him, you know, he brought me a couple of parts as well, which I'm really grateful for, but, you know, be sure to check out Boko's Diesel Garage, and there he is, you know, so, um, you know, it's great seeing you, Boris, you know, so how was your trip here, was it, uh, like a usual trip, I know you do a lot of, uh, hot shot trucking yeah, and stuff like that. Me, here's my hot shot truck, I, I have my own yeah. you can check out if you're yeah, definitely check out his channel. You know, he posts a lot of cool stuff and yeah. trucking and as well as classic stuff. Mercedes and other stuff. So he's really awesome. Really appreciate all you do, Boris. Thank you for yeah. saving these amazing cars. And car, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So yeah, anyways, I really... I know, yeah. The manual cars are really hard to find, you know. And uh, as of right now, you know, for me, it's I just don't have much time to take care of this car. So I know you will take great care of that car. And, uh, you know, I gave you, I told you everything that it needs and what I've done to it while I had it. So, yeah, this car is going to be in good hands. And, you know, this amazing big trailer is going to take this car uh, to your home. So, but anyways, I just wanted to thank you for everything coming by. And also thank you for all these parts that you gave me. I mean, it's it's pretty nice of you, yeah. you know. It's uh, got some rare parts. It's got the hood star, the grill star. And, you know, we have these, uh, this nice... Uh, uh, red colored, you know, uh, cake panel, some wheels that I'm gonna restore and send it, uh, uh, you know, overseas uh, with my dad's car, and then some 190E parts, really awesome. This is my wood trim that's actually broken on my car that I really needed for a while, and then mass module, lug bolts, and then this is the EZL module, this is ignition switch, uh, ignition uh, control module from uh, M103 engine 190E, and this is. Amazing uh, electric mirror, you know, off of a 1985 W123. That's pretty awesome. So really, thank you for all that. Yeah, and I got lucky because they just put two cars in the junkyard like two days before I got there. So they still had a lot of. Yeah, yeah. They you. Uh, so uh, guys, if you're watching this, boys, just uh, yeah, went to the. 
Exactly. So Boris just went to the junkyard like yesterday because they had a couple of classic Mercedes there and he actually picked up a lot of parts. Not only these, but actually has uh, some more parts, which we will show you in a little bit. But, uh, you know, he's an awesome person, you know, he saves these cars, also works on them. And like I said, be sure to check out his channel, you know, I'm about to go there and uh, film some more videos on that uh, 240D and how we're loading it up. But. Uh, uh, you know, I have a couple more uh, parts for Boris that will be really helpful, so we're gonna wait for this motorcycle to pass and uh, anyways, I'm about to go and uh, get a couple more important parts to include with that car for Boris, so uh, it's gonna be really helpful, but other than that, um, as an appreciation gift, like I said, uh, you know, check out his channel, uh, the Cherry Pie is gonna be on his channel as of right now, it's gonna be in the hands of great owner and uh, amazing person who saves these cars and uh, you know all that stuff so anyways guys um, that's gonna be kind of like a quick story so we'll get back to you in a bit well let's see those goodies that uh, Boris got from the junkyard actually this is really cool um, gotta tell you that he's got the beautiful wood trim piece and the climate control right there and also the cluster uh, out of a 1985 300D and we have a beautiful radio uh, right there and then wood trim pieces and this is a really cool one guys this is a really this, is a, this is a really rare option this was uh, on a 1985 300D with heated seats yeah. so you see some cutouts in this uh, panel and it has actually uh, heated seats right there it's pretty cool uh, you don't really see those that often and then he's got that mono valve right there too so uh, you know, what I say is it's never too many parts for classic Mercedes, right Boris? Don't you no, think so? No, I, I actually bought a, a property just to store all of them. So. Yeah, you're awesome. I mean, that's, that's saving, basically sacrificing that. It's saving these cars. That's You're doing an amazing once, job. Once they're gone, they're gone. They're exactly. Not, I mean, uh, any of these parts, you know, in, in about cars. five years, we're going to have less and less of these cars just because people, you know, sadly, I mean, it makes me really upset but people just throw away these cars like that 240d if i didn't save that car that car would have been long gone if not me but there she is she's just sitting there she's about to go um you know to eastern washington with uh you know her happy owner right there so okay guys sometime later uh, i brought these floor pans like i was promising uh to my friend and as you can see these floor pans are amazing actually there's nothing wrong with them just a couple surface rusts and that's it they're all complete and everything and then also uh, I'm gonna give him this core support always useful stuff you know uh, that I pulled from my stash and then also uh, this other side floor pans so and then uh, this right there is not really rust it's just a uh, brown color from the this this trim this not trim but sound deadening and stuff so look how thick this sound deadening is it's amazing that's why this these cars ride so nice and quiet too um, even if it's a diesel I mean it still helps you know but everything is there the, the seat mounts are there and all that stuff so it's gonna be another addition uh, to the owner's collection of parts and we're about to uh, get that baby up onto the trailer all right guys, so we're gonna start, uh, you know, getting the ramps ready and everything for that amazing W123 to go onto the trailer. Uh, it's actually about to get dark pretty soon, so we're gonna get that car up on the trailer. So Boris is actually, uh, you know, he knows his stuff, so he's preparing everything, you know, and we're gonna, I'm gonna help him strap those, uh, you know, floor pans and everything as well, uh, so he can safely get everything home and yeah guys so it's pretty amazing you know uh, I mean I had fun and a good time talking to him and all that um, just you know we I wish we had longer days uh, because it gets pretty dark uh, very fast now so yeah Rock. for sure that's super cool and those ramps just go right in there. Yeah. Nice. I like this much better than the back of ramps because it gives yeah. some more yeah. usable space. Yeah. 
super nice. Oh, wow. Really handy. Huh? Although sometimes if the car doesn't have enough clearance. You if gotta, it's a bigger car, right? Or... Go up on a hill a little bit yeah. To help get it That's so cool though. Oh, there she is. Amazing machine. That's definitely gonna work for now. Nice. Just like that. Woohoo. Well, that was cool. <laughs> you went like this, broop. <laughs> that was really like cool. I hit but... uh, yeah, it was probably just exhaust and stuff when you yeah, went because it's it's pretty steep, you know. That's it. Uh, I don't think we damaged anything. Nah, it's good. It's all right. That definitely helped with the, block. the exhaust is all intact. Yeah, I feel like because the tires uh, when you were driving here, the tires got like squished in. Like they, yeah, the, it was really, it was pressing against the tire like tires crazy. Might not have enough air in them. Yeah, because actually I never checked the air. That's the thing. You know, they look okay, but I never checked. So it might need some air, you know. But um, well, she's back on the trailer. Nice. I gotta see. I have a partial load that I need to pick up. So yeah. Yeah, smile for the camera, say cheese. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I haul all sorts of stuff on these trailers, but the cars are pretty yeah. easy. You know, I'm, like I'm looking at this, I don't know if uh, without you I would have been able to uh, figure it out. I don't think so. I, I don't put them down straight, some yeah. people put them down straight. It's better I than like an angle, right? A little bit of tension pulling right. in on both sides. And exactly. Put this one in. On the other side, right? It's this yeah, way. that's super smart. And that will hold the car in place real well. That's very smart. Right. Plus, you have the parking brake on and it's in yeah. gear, right? Yeah. You put it on straight, the car can still move a little. Exactly. That's a very good point. You're really good at this. Nice. You just gotta make sure you don't trap the brake lights in the back and it's all nice and straight. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like a sway bar link or something. There. Yeah. He is the man. Saving old fences. And Saving not old fences. Exactly. Doing multiple things at a time. That's awesome. That's that, that's, a, that's a that's a huge thing, you know, multitasking, doing trucking, and also, you know, saving classic fences and working on them as well. And driving around and doing other things. It's crazy. Like, how do you have time for all this? You gotta, guys, you have to go watch his channel and subscribe to him right now. Well, thankfully, I have my own business, so I can choose yeah. when. Yeah, you can be your own boss. That's good. As long as That's I make always. Money, I can choose to be home for a week or two weeks. Yeah. Work on cars and That's what's up. That's what's up. That's my goal, too, because I really don't like working for someone. All right, guys, the car is all strapped and safe and almost ready to go home. It's new Swede home and meet his other brothers and sisters. <laughs> 